is going on back again with another sort of scary themed video of course with this being skin crawlers we're all about the scary and um, today i'm going to focus on doing a overview of my um lucio fulci films like my lucio fulci collection because i've got most of his movies there is a few i don't have that and some of them i don't know if they've been released um there's a few westerns and things that he's done that i haven't actually um got on blu-ray or 4k but i do have the majority of his horror films i'm sure and i do have um his giallos got them so i thought i'd start off like you know going through some titles you know lucio fulci i mean most people know him who are into horror that you, he's kind of someone you move on to like you start with like i don't know like Wes craven movies and john carpenter things like that toby hooper and then you kind of you know the further you get into horror you get introduced to these like italian greats like argento and lucio fulci of course which this video is um focusing on so he's one of those i'd say you come on to him when you dive more into horror i mean obviously some people will know him you know vaguely but yeah it's he's he's been a fantastic director delving into his collect um collection and filmography has been amazing over the years i was probably a bit late to getting into Fulci. like i got into him more as i was older heard other horror fans talking about him and stuff and i was like you know what? i need to see this director's filmography and see what he has to offer and stuff and his films are just amazing really you know there's some heavy hitters there there's some films that are bad you know some not every film he's done is like absolutely fantastic but they've all got a certain like feel to them and like quality and you know he's very diverse as well that he's tackle different subject matter and things like that normally um people say you're either kind of like a Fulci guy or argento like I, I love both of them i think both their films you know both the filmographies are fantastic but you know normally someone will prefer Fulci or argento i'm not sure which one i prefer really um maybe for, maybe for another video but yeah let's have a little look through the um lucio Fulci collection so i started with the 88 films edition of cat in the brain uh, Fulci actually stars in this it's got some gory bits it's about him directing a movie pretty good one this is on the um, Italian collection yeah that's Cat in the Brain one of his later films 1990 I think this one uh, yeah got this finished around when he passed away I think it was Another one on the Italian collection is um, Enigma. Yeah, kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of Phenomena, like it's about insects, you know, like people sort of like a girl at like a school with like powers and stuff and it's, you know, murders are happening and things like that. There's a look at the back. I also have his big um, book, Beyond Terror, you know, like the, with the right essays and things in there and it's all about Fulci and his filmography. So I'm going to go through that at the end of the video. Another Italian collection, Touch of Death. Saw a bit of this on um, Amazon Prime, I think, years a couple of years ago, but I haven't watched my Blu-ray yet. I need to crack it open, but that's Touch of Death. I believe that was a TV movie from um, Fulci. I've got the Black Cat on Arrow. Yeah, it's an adaptation of Edgar Allan Poe's um, classic tale, which has been reworked many times, but this Fulci spin's great. I mean, normally his films are like certificated 18 in the um, UK, you know, because he's the godfather of gore. That's what he's dubbed as. And, you know, there's a lot of squelchy gore in there normally. But this one's pretty gory as well. But it's, you know, the cat's quite vicious in it. But Black Cat, great adaptation from Fulci. Set in the UK as well, I believe, that one. His classic, The Beyond. This is the Arrow edition. I was talking last week about this needing a 4K UHD. I'm sure we'll get it at some point. There's a 4K remaster out there, but it's a Blu-ray. That's a shameless edition. This is um, region free. You can pick this one up. There's also a steel book out with this artwork on, and it looks amazing. Look, you got the blind woman and other stuff. Yeah, Beyond, what a crazy ride. If you've not checked out the Beyond, even if you're not necessarily, you know, two up on you, um, Lucio Fulci, do go out and still check out the Beyond. It's a great horror film. I'll try and see if I can pick the, another one in his sort of what's dubbed as his Gates of Hell trilogy with the Beyond and um, uh, City of the Living Dead. Sorry, my mind went blank there, but this is House by the Cemetery. So you've got the Gates of Hell trilogy, the Beyond I just shown, House by the Cemetery, this one and um, City of the Living Dead. All three of them are fantastic. This is kind of a unique movie because it's a zombie film, but yet it just centers around one zombie basically that's in a basement of this creepy house. You know, this house that's set near a graveyard. You've got a cemetery close by to it. And um, yeah, people start getting killed. And it's this old doctor 
Freudstein, I believe his name is. Yeah. Dr. Freudstein. He's a zombie in the basement and he brutally kills people. And there's some really icky stuff in this one. Some great kills. Very gory. Um, just what you'd expect from a Fulci movie. But that's House by the Cemetery. Absolutely brilliant. I think I need to pull City of the Living Dead, actually. Because I forgot to um, pull that one out. Here it is. In the Gates of Hell Truth. This is the new 4K that's come out from Cauldron. City of the Living Dead, amazing film, very gory. I mean, the scene that gets me is where the couple are making out in the car and the um, she keeps seeing the priest who's hung himself, the um, lady does, and um, then she starts like, bleeding from her eyes and regurgitating all her guts and intestines, up, you know, all her organs and things start being regurgitated out of her mouth. It's really, really gory stuff. This is a lovely addition. Do try and snap this one up. Um, this isn't the first pressing. There was a first pressing with the CD soundtrack, which is an awesome soundtrack. I do listen to that on Spotify, but you can still get this edition, I think. It's got the slip, but not got the um, poster and the CD, but you do get the film on 4K. And um, <clears throat> Blu-ray, I believe, yeah. So fantastic. City of the Living Dead from Cauldron on 4K. Definitely worth that. Pick up that one. Onto some of his stuff he's released on Blue Underground. I do need to get the 4K of this, but it's a New York ripper. Fairly brutal stuff here. You know, it's got some scenes in there where, like, the killer basically gets a little um, small razor blade and starts cutting into his um, victim's eyeball and things, you know, while she's laying on a bed, strapped to a bed. It's really gory, and there's some brutal stuff in there. Makes you kind of flinch a little bit, like some of it. Very, um, very graphic violence and gore in the new york ripper but it's a fantastic sort of slasher giallo film it's really good and the killer just got a strange like duck voice he talks on the phone in like a you know i don't i, I don't want to do an impression at the minute because i might mess it up but yeah he, he uses like a duck voice on the um, phone new york ripper great um another one on blue underground picked this up a couple of years ago terrible film got it because i wanted to be a completionist and have all fortune stuff but this is um Manhattan Baby and it is dreadful to be fair it's a really awful movie the surreal horror shocker from director of Zombie and the Beyond there's one great scene in it where all these taxidermy pigeons um, not pigeons birds come alive and they start attacking somebody whilst they're in their office they start getting attacked by these taxidermy and birds or stuffed birds, if you will, and they start attacking somebody, and that's quite um, bloody and whatnot. And that's a really good scene. That does make that does put this film up a notch, in my opinion. But yeah, Manhattan Baby. It's not one of his best, probably his worst I've seen, to be fair. But I like having it because I'm a completionist, so it's good to good to have that one. And I'll quickly show this one. I've never watched it. It's about a dance school or something. It's murder rock. This is one forty I've never seen. I've not even cracked it open. I want to get round to it. I've just not been that compelled to watch it, uh, you know, of as late. But I will get round to it. I might do that soon, actually. That's Murder Rock from Fulci. Let me know if you've seen Murder Rock, actually, if I'll enjoy it or not. Because I do enjoy all these films, apart from, like, Manhattan Baby. Fantastic Giallo, Lizard in a Woman's Skin. Very strange. It's got that part in it. Very surreal, this one. Some surreal imagery. And it's got the part in it where it's got those... um those kind of like dissected dog creature things you know what i mean like the dogs and the the like puppets used for the film i someone told me once that um apparently he nearly he either did or nearly got prosecuted for that because people thought they were real dogs tell me if i'm right or wrong on that it's just what somebody had told me about this film it's probably in his book actually which i haven't read all of because it's that big but we're going to get to the book in the end. But that's Lizard of a Woman's Skin. This could do with an um, UK Blu-ray release. I don't think it has one. This is the um, Mondo Macabre. It's a US edition. Yeah, Lizard of a Woman's Skin. Fantastic. A one on the um, Scorpion line now, and that's a psychic. Great Giallo. Yeah, it's got a really cool ending as well. Let's just say, you know, if you're claustrophobic, you probably wouldn't like the ending as such but yeah great giallo the psychic i know this had a uk release a while ago off um shameless yeah the psychic go check it out because it is fantastic got the 4k of um zombie aka zombie flesh eaters if you're in um, the uk but everyone knows this absolute classic you've got the zombie fighting the shark of course you've got the that guy who looks very detailed with worms coming out of his eye sockets and things we are going to eat you yeah 
great movie set on this um african island i believe the majority of the film is in it yeah things get crazy it's got a fantastic score the, you know the dun 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 yeah the score's brilliant but zombie yeah absolute classic love zombie and i believe i may have gone through all the um, blu-rays now so i'll just check this stack out yeah that's all my lucio forty films on blu-ray i don't think i've missed any i hope i haven't but yeah fantastic director if you've never been really introduced to um his filmography go sort it out if you're a horror fan because he, he's one of these guys that he was the godfather of gore that's what he's dubbed as the gore's out of this world sometimes you know it really does make you squirm a little bit it's icky stuff unless you know if you're not used to it i'm kind of used to gory movies but yeah forty fantastic director one of the best and um, one of the best italian directors too definitely a master of horror and yeah go check his filmography out if you haven't if you know him you know what i'm talking about okay now to finish off this overview of my own 40 collection i'm going to have a look through the big book and um, beyond terror so i'm just a quick cut and we'll get to the end book. yeah we're back so this is the um beyond terror the films of lucio fulci big book about 432 pages Loads of great glossy photographs, essays on the films, covers his filmography, covers a bit of his life, I think, you know, with details about him and facts and things like that. But let's have a flick through the book. I haven't read all of this with it being so big. I've not actually had the time to go through it, but I do flick through it sometimes and read, you know, pick bits at random and have a good like read and whatnot. There's some more great imagery. This book is available, but I think it, I pay. I got it at a really good price, you know. I got it off Amazon. They were doing a sort of deal on it, and they had it brand new for about like nineteen ninety nine, and I managed to pick it up. And I thought it was a steal for the quality of the book. I mean, the paper's really nice. It's glossy. There's a scene. There's a bit from House of the Cemetery. Got your contents. I'm gonna have a bit of a flick, so I might not go through the whole thing, but I just want you to get the gist. If you're not, if you're a fan of Fulci, try and get this book. I think it goes for about twenty-five to thirty pounds. You can pick it up pre-owned. I mean, if it's in good condition, there's no, no harm in that. But you know, you can get it brand new as well. I think for about twenty-five to thirty. I'm not sure what it's going for on Amazon at the moment. I'll have a look after I film this and put um it in the description. There's a picture of um Fulci in the director's chair. <laughs> right. Yeah, introduction to the films of Fulci. Some posters. From what I gather, all the photographs are um, in black and white. It's a really good one for zombie flesh eaters. I think there's a steel book from Arrow with that artwork on. Looks fantastic. No, I say that a lot. Looks fantastic. There's Dr. Freudstein from House by the Cemetery. Yeah. As you can see, just a lot of text, a lot of information on each film. This book is, for a faulty fan, this is a gold mine. this book. Treasure trove of information and facts. Absolutely fantastic. On the end of our zombie. You can see it's all glossy paper, really thick paper. Oh, it does have some colour images. Here we go. We've got a poster for zombie. Look, you've got that lovely poster in the, you know, right in the middle of the book well not the middle as such there's a lot more to go very gory stuff you see what i'm talking about when i say he's the godfather of gore and yeah, stuff like that oh that's quite an image brilliant getting into the sort of color stuff now i assumed the pictures were black and white i think i've had a flick through before but I just can't remember them I've been in colour. That's cool. I, I won't be able to go through the whole book um, with it being 432 pages. You know, that would be a very long video, that one. That's so great. Um, he had a hand in directing the um, sequels to um, Zombie as well. Um, 
the sec you know the in that oh, I forgot what the bloody, sorry i forgot what they're called i'll have a look in a sec he did um half of like the second one i believe or maybe all of it i can't quite remember he might have done all of it actually but their sequels to zombie um flesh eaters which i forgot to show in this video so i just thought i'd give them a bit of a mention sorry about that i think he had a lot of help with them they obviously directed fully directed the um, original zombie but the first one you know the 19 is it 79 one then the sequels to that and then there's ones you know go they use the name for many sequels including killing birds which is zombie five but it has no real relation to like the first zombie film but you, you i think people know what i'm talking about if you know Fulch's stuff but there's basically one film i sort of forgot to show that i've got that's a Fulci one the sequel to i'm zombie which is which is actually a very fun film actually it is a good one Not a patch on the original, but it's very fun. Right, so you're getting the gist of the book, but this book is well worth a purchase. Like I say, it can be an expensive book, but look at it, just loads of pictures and essays. It's just fantastic. Just absolutely tons and tons of information, just non stop. If you're a Fulci fan, you just catered for for hours, days, you know. Amazing. What's going on now? Let's have a look at these little naughty pictures. Mm. Build my J up, Jalo, it's high. Love to get some more 4Ks of um, Fulci films as well. That would be great. Ah, there is one I forgot to show, and actually. After I flick through the book, I'm going to show a couple more Blu-rays off because they're coming, because one's just sprung to mind that I didn't pull it out of the collection. So this video is a bit sporadic, isn't it? Not very professional at all, but never mind. Good um, poster for the psychic there. More colour stuff. Yeah, this is awesome. This book is so good. This is the favourite, my favourite book on like horror movies that I have. You sort of get the gist, don't you? So, you know, if you're a Fulci fan and you don't have Beyond Terror, this big um, treasure trove of information on Fulci, go get it because it's fantastic. I'm going to do a bit of a fast flick now. But you see what's in there. Look at this. It's all on City of the Living Dead. You know, they break down each film, the production, um, information regarding it and the actors and actresses and information on Fulci. And there's that picture that's on the end. My, I flipped for my Sleeve of the Arrow um, release of the Beyond. Yeah, amazing book. There you go. 430 plus pages of just absolute non-stop information on Lucio Fulci and his career, his filmography, you name it. Nice hard book as well. Don't know if there's a paperback, ver not a paperback, but like, yeah, a paperback basically, a big paperback, there might be a version like that, but that's the book. Part of my Fulci collection, love it. There's the back. Okay, so we're just gonna show a couple more Blu-rays off and then round off this um Lucio Fulci collection. Just showing those couple I missed after the um book. There it is, Don't Torture a Duckling. This is the edition with a slip. Fantastic movie. Um 70s Giallo, basically someone's knocking off um children and they've got to figure out who it is in this small town. Really cool movie, one of his um earlier Giallos, but yeah, don't torture a duckling, go check it out. Arrow have this edition out. Um not sure if they still press it or print it or whatever, make it. But it is out there to pick up. You could probably get it pre-owned. And that zombie one I was talking about, he did actually, I think, fully direct it. That Zombie Flesh Eaters 2. So it's a sequel to 79 Zombie. But it's a great movie. Really fun. Not a patch on the original, but it's a lot of, you know, a lot of fun. Okay, tell me what you think of my Fulci collection. And give me some recommendations of um, Fulci movies I've not seen. You know, all you Fulci heads out there know what you're talking about and stuff. Like, let me know what ones I should, other ones I should pick up, where I can pick them up. 
it'd be great to hear from you in the comments okay thanks a lot bye